All right, so we're gonna clean the Boss laser lens um, after, you know, a couple times a month, you should probably clean the lens just to verify that the laser is cutting good. Um, and this is gonna be the procedure to do so. Uh, so the first thing that you're wanna, uh, gonna to wanna to do is get you some isopurple rubbing alcohol, um, some paper towels, some soft napkins, uh, lint-free cloth, and also get you one that you can put some alcohol on. Um, the next tool you're gonna to need is the thin lens wrench that came with the uh, Boss laser. And first thing we're going to do is come over to the laser head. The laser does not have to be powered on uh, for this. And we are going to take a couple of our slats and lay them to the side so we can drop our laser head out. And we're going to unscrew our uh, bottom of our laser lens here and it's going to pop out of the assembly and then if you push down on this quick fit uh, connector you can pop the air hose right off of it uh, so next we'll take it over to our workbench if you notice on the lens there's a lens retainer it's just an aluminum lens retainer that's what you're going to use your wrench for so you're going to put it in that slot and just turn it uh, until it's loose and then you can kind of grab your finger around it and twist it up out of there. So once you've done that, the laser lens is now loose down here so we can pop it out. And this lens is a little dirty but it's still, um, it's still a good lens, fully functional. Um, so until you really have quality issues with your cuts, you don't need to replace the lens. So what we're gonna do, lay our lens down, grab some isopurple, and I like to kind of just put the lens in the isopurple and, and kind of massage it back and forth a little bit making sure that it's clean. Then I'll grab a dry cloth and just dry the lens in the same way. So your lens should be nice and cloud haze free. You'll notice there is that little spot on it, but it's still gonna cut just fine. Um, you'll notice the lens is convex and just like your eyeball we need the convex part of the lens to be facing the material so we're going to want it down uh, into the lens assembly like so you kind of just to go back in with it there's this rubber o-ring that slides in the bottom of the ring or of the lens retainer you're just going to want to make sure that that's seated in there properly before you drop the lens in. You can drop the lens in, kind of just give it a little shake like that. Put your lens retainer back on with the uh, slots cut in it facing upward. That way you can get your wrench on it. And we're going to screw that in as much as we can. And we're going to take our wrench and tighten this down. And it just has to be snug. That way that lens doesn't move within the housing. So I, I'm not putting very much pressure on this at all. Otherwise, you can crack your laser in. Next, it's just the opposite of how it came out. I'm gonna take the lens, slide it in the holder, screw it down with the lens retaining system, and screw that tube down. So uh, we have a laser lens that's properly seated in the housing. And now we just push our air hose back in. And that's how you clean the laser lens on the Boss 1630 laser.